Become an expert in gold with this advice. Taking a look at gold as a way to obtain value isn't a new concept, but its importance today is because of the downward economy. In order to get into gold investing, then you certainly are about to read a fantastic article. Read on for sound investment advice. Do your research and really know what the most up-to-date gold cost is prior to sell your jewelry. That will help you find out if you are available a great deal. There are several unscrupulous dealers that may try to pull one over for you. If the explanation for purchasing gold is perfect for your retirement fund, it's vital to find the appropriate kind. The IRS must approve the gold. They must be 24 karat bullion bars or coins. Consider bars greater than coins, because they have more value. In case you have a desire for getting into the gold markets, but don't have plenty of investment capital, consider buying scrap. This can be done over a duration of time, say around each payday, and accumulate a large amount of valuable gold within a year or so. Make sure you have got a safe place to help keep your gold. A safe and secure deposit box is perfect, while you're collecting it. Anytime you buy gold jewelry on the behalf of another person, make certain that it might be returned. It's almost impossible to discover the worth of your gold jewelry by simply considering it. Because this isn't rare, it's imperative that you have the ability to return the jewelry to get a refund if it's necessary. If you're unsure what your gold could possibly be worth, then have an appraisal done. This calls for some a good investment, yet it is worthwhile. Be sure to select an appraiser who may be accredited and independent for a realistic appraisal. Should you still choose to sell your gold, you need to know that you will not be paid the complete appraisal value. Make sure to select carefully when contemplating taking your gold to your pawn shop or jeweler on the market. The spot price for gold is dependent upon a constantly fluctuating market, so not all the store will almost certainly pay it. You can find a better deal in a store not in the major shopping mall, since their overhead and rent is less. Have a look at every form you should sign when you use gold dealers. This company is about the dollar signs, and you must recognize this. Be familiar with what you're signing. If you're unhappy with the specific terms, then you need to help keep moving along. Protecting yourself is hugely important. Sort your gold by carats into groups if you are intending on selling it. Dependent upon the gold piece, it might be worth substantially more than a different item, and you will definitely want everyone to become weighed individually to get the maximum value. Gold having a higher carat value will be worth more. You should know the way to test the grade in the gold you acquire. Carats are used to rate the purity of gold. The higher the carat, the more the gold may be worth. The stamp isn't enough to go on. When you know how you can test gold's purity, you should never be overcharged. A great way to acquire gold and a good price is are to inquire relatives when they have old broken jewelry they need to sell. Purchase a correct jewelry scale to weigh your gold. With a decent scale, it is possible to offer to acquire gold for more than pawn shops will give you. Be sure to know the buyback policy of your seller. You will find buyers who charge high costs for reselling gold, however they are not every by doing this. If you are considering sending hefty gold bars or pieces to non-local dealer, consider the logistics. To be in the safe side, you shouldn't buy gold and let the dealer to help keep pay your hands on it. Remember that you won't get 100% of your respective gold's value if you sell. Dealers need to make money like other businesses. Dealers must come up with a profit therefore, they need to calculate their profits within the purchase price. As being a ballpark figure, you will definitely get about half to three quarters from the piece's actual worth. Timing cannot be used with gold investments. Consider purchasing some gold over a short time period in order to ensure your wealth. If you insist upon timing it, do when everything is calm. There have been gold shortages during hard economic times. Weigh your jewelry by carat. It will help you are making sure you're paid accurately for your gold. That's as a 10k gold ring is definitely worth under a 18k necklace that is 1 ounce. Always separate your jewelry by carats prior to deciding to market it. Higher carat designations bring higher prices. Allowing different carat jewelry to become weighed together will net you less money than you deserve. Enter in the dealer with the pieces already separated. Bring identification whenever you decide to sell gold. Criminals, naturally, have a desire for gold. To quit them, laws mandate sellers must present ID. This will make it more readily found stolen gold. Look at the gram weight price of your gold coins above the collector's value. You might lose cash when you sell your coins for scrap gold melt. For this reason it is best to carry out the proper research and know just how much your merchandise is worth before selling. But guaranteed to take accurate photographs of your respective jewelry if you plan to share it into a buyer. That way you might have proof that you just actually mailed each of the pieces so there will be no difficulties later. Make sure to capture any identifiable marks in every piece. 
including scratches, engraving and other things unusual. Nearly everyone knows gold is a brilliant investment. The bumpy economic times we have seen recently merely has accelerated this trend. Hopefully, the tips above will allow you to turn gold into personal wealth. GVMG, Global Viral Marketing Group. Thank you for watching to the end. One time secret offer, free web marketing tools giveaway, and more. For more details, please click the URL below.